Hey, today we're talking solid stage drives. Are you installing one? Stay right here and we'll go through it. Parts People Tutorials. Upgrade or repair your Dell. Need the part? Find it here. So maybe yours died of natural causes, or you just need a larger capacity, or maybe like your kid used it to chop carrots. Either way, I'm going to show you how to swap it out right now. All right, let's grab our tools. I recommend using a T5 Torx, so Phillips number one, and it doesn't hurt to have a plastic scribe as well. If you need any of these, I'll leave a link down below. Now let's get into it. Okay, first unscrew the bottom base and then gently pry it apart. The plastic scribe that I mentioned earlier. Clutch. What's up? To avoid any electrical damage, definitely disconnect the battery. Whoa. Okay, now that we've reached the solid state drive, I just want to point out real quick that there are two versions, the 2230 and the 2280. The only real difference is their physical size. The disassembly process for them is the same for both. All right, we made it. In order to remove the solid state drive, just unscrew it and gently slide it out. Okay, you've gotten this far and you're still having issues, what do you do? You can always reach out to us for diagnostics, repairs, upgrades, or anything else Dell related. We've specialized in Dell laptops for over 20 years, so if you need anything at all, link is... I'm asked this all the time, but the reassembly process really is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. If you still need to purchase your replacement part, click here to visit our site and find it. And while over there, you can view our printable instructions that include images to help you along the way. And also don't forget, we have more playlists here, so keep checking back. I do read your comments, so leave any questions you have for me down below. Thanks for watching.